Right now, I'm heading to my new studio. Um, the YouTube channels are still not profitable, but um, I'm a persistent guy. So I spent the last three months preparing this space, uh, remaking this, remaking my garage to make it a um, beautiful place to record uh, beautiful videos for you. And I'm doing this because I believe in actually in what you uh, tell me uh, every week when I post a new videos on this channel. Uh, that we say that I'm doing a good job and I'm producing uh, useful uh, content for all of you. So I've decided to uh, sell my car and invest on this place that will be actually not only a, a studio for uh, producing uh, videos, but uh, this will be a place where I will have a lot of different kind of filaments to uh, produce reveals, uh, different uh, kind of uh, printers, and I will uh, do my best here to keep producing good contents for you. I hope you like it, and uh, I have special partners on this journey, uh, people that believe on my job as, as you do, and they are supporting me, sending me uh, printers for uh, reveals, for testing, and filaments, and all kind of uh, new equipment uh, related to uh, 3D printing uh, word and to um, the maker word. So I hope you enjoy and I really uh, love this place and I would like to tell you uh, the most uh, desirable phrase I was hoping to say during this three months of uh, hard work to prepare this place. Uh, welcome to the new Inventor's Garage. Let's event. Welcome to the Inventor's Garage. This place is a very special place because we spent uh, about three months working on this place, cleaning up, painting the walls, and building basically everything you can see here, preparing this place to be the, the new filming place to prepare the videos for this YouTube channel. But it's not only that. This place will be a kind of a prototype of 3D farm for prototypes. Okay, okay, take it easy. You will understand. We don't have space enough here to build a 3D farm for massive uh, part productions, but we have space enough to have a 3D farm for prototyping the projects that I want to bring here on the channel so you can download those projects and build by yourself. So we will use this space as a 3D farm for prototypes uh, for the projects that we want to have here on the channel. And at the same time, the prototype 3D farm, it's another thing that we want to do here. Like, even being a small 3D farm, it's still a 3D farm with the same problems, with the same necessity of uh, processes and the same difficulties that you will probably have building your own farm. So what I want to do here is to pass through all those difficulties and learn uh, with the, this journey and then bring to you what kind of mistakes we made here and then you can avoid building your own 3D farm. So this is a very, very special place because this will join all these experiences uh, in one place. And before I start talking about all the inventions we made uh, to make this uh, place uh, viable, I want to thank to the, our supporters like F3D, GT Max, Dyna Labs, and Volt3D 
that uh, send us materials to reveal the filaments and send us materials to build the inventions we have on this place that make this place functional. I want to be clear about the supporters that they are not sponsors of this channel. They send materials to reveal and they provide us material to work and prototype our projects so they don't pay to me to give them uh, a nice opinion about their products. They send their products uh, to have an honest and sincere uh, review about their products. As the same as our uh, 3D printer partners like 3D Curitiba that provide us the FlashForge Adventure 5M Pro with the Union Distributor uh, here on Brazil. And the same 3D Curitiba send us the K1C from Creality to make a review. And the 3D Curitiba again with the 3D Touch distributor uh, send us the Bamboo X1 Carbon also to make a review. And we are testing a lot this printer. Even people saying that this is the best printer in the world. We are still testing and we are preparing a special review about the good things and the bad things about this printer before you can buy it. So let's talk about the inventions, okay? Let's talk about this place because I'm very excited about uh, how this place is right now. And you have no idea how much work we spend uh, to make this place like this. So let's start talking about. Uh, first, we have this desk that it's basically a working desk, uh, but this is a static desk. Uh, we have no mobility by default. And then I have to buy wheels and I have to adapt the wheels to this table so then I will be able to move this on the side when I am uh, not recording the video here. So then we can have all this space free to move and to operate the printers. So then I had to design and print the adapters to use the wheels on this desk. So I use the Pat G from Vote 3D to do those parts and right on the side of the desk I have a support for my capture device that I printed using the ABS from F3D. Right on my left side I have my key light that it's basically a LED panel uh, used to produce this awesome uh, shadow effect you can see on the video. But the professional uh, key lights are very, very expensive, especially here in Brazil. So what I use here was a garden panel, a garden LED panel. And to turn this into a key light, I've designed some uh, tab parts to focus the light on the right direction. And to print this, I've used the ABS anti-flame from GT Max and to build the tabs on the, the front of the key light, I've used the ABS from F3D. So we have a lot of other small things like cable supports and things like that. But what I want to talk to you, it's about that part. On this side, we have all the filaments. Some of those filaments we already made a review here on the channel and someone we will make the review very soon. So let's start with the Dynalabs PLAs that we have right on the top. The PLA from Dynalabs are very special PLAs, are premium PLAs that we use to print special and beautiful parts for uh, this garage. Then right here we have the GT Max filaments. We have nylon, we have a carbon fiber, triton, and some other filaments that are coming here. So we will make special reveals about GT Max, especially uh, the filaments related to the engineering 3D printing jobs. And right on the right side, we have the ABS from F3D that are very, very good ABS that can go up to 36 millimeters cubic per second when you are printing on uh, your 3D printer. So they are very, very useful and practical uh, ABS. And down here we have the PLAs from Volt 3D that are a mate PLA that give you an awesome finishing on your 3D printing parts. So to make 
all this play viable, I just use simple metal tubes, some star stands, and then I've designed the supports to coupling all these parts together that they are not made to be together, but we designed to make this all together. And right on the front of this part of the filaments, we have the LED supports. So we've designed the LED supports and we print this using the Volt 3D uh, Dental White that it's a special color, special white with a very, very smooth tone of blue that made a perfect to use with uh, light reflectors. So then you have the flexibility of Pat Chi to couple this on the tube and you have the perfect white color to use as a LED reflection. But if you pay attention, you can see this awesome effect we have over the printers here. So those effects are made by a special spotlight I've designed to, to attach to the roof of the garage. And I've used the very, very cheap hand lanterns from China that I've paid something about $1.5 each one. And then I've designed all the parts to adjust and use this as spotlights. And all the parts I've used to print this, I use the F3D ABS to have flexibility and to have a long lifespan for those parts. Right on the back, I have the power station where I have a 24 volts power supply, a 12 volts power supply and a 5 volt power supply that are responsible to provide energy for all the lights on the studio. And here we have the crazy inventor switch made on the translucent PET G Ember from Dyna Labs. And to complement that awesome decoration part, I have the silver silk filament and the PLA wood that has real wood uh, fragments inside the filament and I printed that using uh, the texture of wood that gives the, that perfect appearance of wood. And this, the special part about this uh, wood PLA is that you can handle that part exactly as you can handle any wood component you have. You can sand that, you can paint, you can do whatever you can do with a real wood part. You can do with those parts printed with the Dynalab uh, wood PLA. Then right on the back here, we have our restored uh, pallets where we will develop and assembly our special uh, tools dashboard and you will be a part of that. You will see the development and the tests here on the channel. On the back of that pallets, we developed uh, the LED supports and print using the dental white from a Volt 3D. But on that part, I've used the ABS because the air ventilation back there is not so good as on the right side. So then I prefer to use the ABS that it's a material with a better uh, temperature resistance. So on the right side, we have our production stock of filaments where we'll also have the LED supports that I printed using the same ABS Dental White from Volt 3D. So here is where we will have all our filaments to use on our prototypes and then prepare the projects to release here on the channel. Projects like MFS that we already launched here on the channel. So the MFS for K1, K1C and K1 Max help you to keep your filaments dried while you're printing without spending any kind of extra electricity because it uses the heat generated by your printer bed so you can download and print the MFS in your house and then use this to improve your printing quality, making sure your filaments will keep dry during all the time you are printing, no matter what kind of filament you are using, if it's patchy, ABS, or PLA. If you want to know more about the MFS, I will leave the link at the description. So click there 
and you can see an entire playlist with a lot of videos we made about the MFS and the treatment of moisture in your filaments. And all the electrical infrastructure here was planted and executed following the best practices from NBR. So we use the best products and the best plan, including DPS, disjunctors and other safety device to make sure it's safe and working very well. But just to make sure that we are safe uh, and we are consuming the right amount of power from the circuits, we have right on the corner a measurement box. Then on that measurement box, we can see in real time what is the current tension and the power consumption uh, on each one of the plugs on this garage. Then that box I've designed and printed using the ABS anti-flame from GT Max. So just remember when you are designing and producing products that will be in contact with electrical stations or high temperature or that can offer any kind of risk uh, of getting fire, don't forget to use the right material to build this. So anti-flame materials are not uh, flame proof itself, but they are flame retardant and then ca they can avoid uh, tragedies, especially if you are using this on electrical boxes and things like that. So this material, this ABS from DT Max, beyond the fact that this is the right material for this kind of application, it has an awesome quality of print. I can say that this ABS has a better printing quality than the, the common ABS. But the most important feature about this filament is that this is a safe filament to use with your electrical installations. So I don't know if you like it, but I, I, I'm suspect to say that because I build this. So I love the process of building and I love the results uh, I, that I can see on the screen. And I really like to hear from you uh, what kind of content you expect to see here on the channel, especially having all this space right now and the printers and the prototypes and filaments and everything else. So leave on the comments and don't forget to uh, hit the bell to receive the notifications about the new videos uh, we will have here on the channel. So I hope you enjoy this and I will see you on the next video and don't forget, let's skip inventing. <laughs>